Hi, I'm Ben Zwickel, and welcome to this screencast on fitting data in Mathematica. This screencast assumes you are familiar with fitting, but need to know how to implement it in Mathematica. To briefly summarize, fitting involves varying parameters in a mathematical model in order to find the values of those parameters, which generate a prediction that best agrees with your data. So the first step in doing a fit is to decide if your fit function is linear or nonlinear. By a linear fit function, what we mean is the function is linear in the coefficients that we're varying to optimize to make the best fit. So in, in the case of all these five functions here, they're all linear in the coefficients a and b and c. So even though this one is a straight line, which we sometimes might call a linear fit, I mean, it's better to call it a straight line fit, it's linear in both a and b. So is this quadratic fit a to the first power, b to the first power. Um, and even these functions that involve sines and exponentials still just have an a or a b or a c uh, in, a, in a linear fashion. So a nonlinear fit function then is one that involves uh, like an exponential of a coefficient or a sine of a coefficient or a coefficient squared or something like that. Uh, so these are all examples that have both some linear fit coefficients and this exponential fit, the a and the b, are both linear while the c is nonlinear. The choice of a linear or a nonlinear fit function matters because Mathematica has two different algorithms for finding the optimal choice of fit parameters uh, depending on whether you have a linear fit function or a nonlinear fit function. So for a linear fit function, you should use the function linear model fit. It takes three parameters. The first is the data, which typically in this class will be in the form of xy pairs. It takes a set of functions, and the fit parameters are the coefficients that go in front of those functions, and it takes an independent variable in this case x. So linear fits are great because they always find the optimal least squared solution. So you always get the best fit without doing any initial guessing for what the fit parameters should be. On the other hand, oftentimes you have a fit function which is more complicated, and in that case you need to use a nonlinear model fit. So the data is still xy pairs, but in this case you specify a function which has both a set of parameters, uh, beta, one and so on, and it has an independent variable, in this case x again, and uh, it's not guaranteed to find the best fit, and initial guessing is often necessary, as we'll see later in this screencast. So here's a linear fit example. So first I want to generate a fake set of data. Uh, so initially I have some quadratic function, um, and I'm going to add some noise to it, so it looks like real data, and so the fit parameters um, also have some uncertainty in them. Uh, so if we execute this, uh, and then we do a list plot of our fake linear data. That's what it looks like. We can do a linear fit by doing the linear model fit. And we give it the fake linear data. We give it the set of fit functions, which in this case is t squared, t, and the constant function 1. And we give it the independent variable t. And let's give it a name, LM, for linear model. And so what we get is a fit that has parameters which are very close to the original function. So there's two convenient ways to use this. So we can either uh, type LM of t, and we can execute that. And you can evaluate this function at any t value you want. Or also, uh, another helpful thing to know about is the pr table parameters or parameter table. Uh, so parameter table, we execute that. What we get is a table that shows you uh, the best estimate for the fit coefficient, and it also shows you the standard error in each of those fit coefficients. Uh, in this class, you won't need to know about the t-statistics or p-values, uh, but it's good to know um, that you can get them easily. So here's an example of a nonlinear fit function. So in this case, we start off with an exponential function. We add some random noise to it to make it look like fake data. And if we list plot that fake nonlinear data, we get this. So now if we want to do a nonlinear model fit on that, we type nonlinear model fit. The first argument is the fake nonlinear data. And then we give it a fit function, which has the form a times exponential of b times t, and we'll add a constant offset, c. And the fit parameters are a, b, c, and the independent variable is t. And let's give that a name, nlm for nonlinear model fit, and execute it. 
and it got fit parameters which are awful. Uh, so the fit parameter which causes the most trouble is B because that's the nonlinear fit parameter. So we can give it an initial guess by doing the following. We know it's going to be negative. Let's just say it's negative 1. Um, it's negative because it's a decay. Uh, so if we execute that again, we get a fit function uh, which is actually very close to the original. And we can see uh, we can evaluate the nonlinear model fit in just the same way we could the linear model fit, and we can also get the parameter table in the same way. Parameter table. And we'll finish up the presentation by looking at an example of plotting your data and the fit together. So we can plot the data in the same way as before using the list plot function. So list plot, and we'll plot the fake linear data and we'll give that a name like data plot and the semicolon at the end uh, prevents it from displaying and so we can do a fit plot in the same way in this case it's plot linear model as a function of t and let t go between 0 and 5 and we can show the two of those together uh, by saying show data plot comma fit plot and that's how you combine the two and lastly, uh, if you ever need more help, uh, don't forget about the Mathematica documentation. So you can always go to Linear Model Fit and just hit F1 and it pops up the help for it. And that's all there is to uh, fitting in Mathematica. Thanks.